So we're going to perform a standard knee aspiration and cortisone injection. We have all our items set up on a table. We have two sticks of standard betadine, a couple of alcohol pads, a gauze to wipe off, and a band-aid. From there, we've drawn up uh, about a few cc's of 1% lidocaine as a superficial local anesthetic on a 25 gauge needle. We have our standard cortisone injection. We use six cc's of quarter percent marcaine mixed with 40 milligrams of Kenalog. And then we have a standard uh, syringe, 60 cc syringe, uh, loaded up with an 18 gauge needle. So now that we have everything lined up, we put the patient prone, supine laying down, making sure their leg is nice and relaxed. We're looking for the superior border of his patella, which is here, and the lateral border. And you make basically a perpendicular line from that point, which is here, and then go just a little bit more perpendicular, and that's typically your spot. So you mark that spot with a pen, like so, and then we wipe, wipe him down with alcohol and betadine. So now that we have him prepped up with alcohol and betadine, we're gonna take our local, we're gonna create a little small wheel right underneath. So you're gonna feel a pinch on three. One, two, three, small pinch. And then a little burn sensation. As we create the wheel, we make it nice and big. We're gonna re-aim it and continue to push the medication straight towards the capsule. So that way we're numbing all the tissues on our way in and out. This will react very, very quickly. And so you can usually either give this a few seconds or you can simply proceed. We're then gonna restart and grab our syringe. A little technical pearl is make sure that orange, the safety part is actually on here enough that you can get it on and off pretty easily, but also make sure the actual needle itself is turned on quite hard. So you wanna be able to get this off. So we take our 18 gauge needle, and make sure we can move air in and out and the needle doesn't fly off. Get our landmarks, feel a pinch on three. One, two, three, pinch. Once you get in there, you'll feel a pinch and then a pop, then slowly withdraw the fluid out. It's oftentimes going to be a slightly blood tinge from just putting in the, med from putting in the local medication into the capsule. So you're stabilizing with one hand and often pulling with the other. So you're not trying to really move the needle around. If you need to, you can slowly readjust as needed, but for the most part, you're just slowly kind of pulling. So you can see his fluid is a little bit a little bit darker, a little bit blood tinged, but nothing too crazy. So now I'm creating the pressure, but I'm not getting any bounce back. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is create constant pressure with my right hand pulling the syringe back. And I'm gonna slowly pull the needle back and see if I can get a flash of fluid. If I can't get a flash of fluid, and there's our flash, then I'm gonna kinda call it quits. So now what we do is we're gonna dislodge, holding the orange and unscrew set this down. We have our cortisone injection already shaken up. Take this off, modularly hook this back up, place it on nice and tight, push the medication in, and then you're done. And that's it.